Hey friends, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Today is my November monthly favorites and once again I am a little bit late about getting this video filmed and getting it up this month. I always like to try to have them up on the first but I've just had a lot going on and if you guys know that the holidays are a little bit rocky and kind of depressing for me so it really takes a lot for me to sit down to film a video. Um, there have been many days where I was just like I'm not gonna film but then you guys wouldn't get to see any videos. So you guys hope to keep me motivated, so thank you so much. And before we jump into our monthly favorites video, um, I just wanna say, remember you guys, some of these products I love, and I know some of you guys might not like them and you might hate them. I'm not here to like pump products up for you to make you go out and buy them. I'm simply here to tell you guys what I liked, what worked for me, and why I like the product. I'm not being paid to talk highly of any of these products. Um, most of these products were purchased with my own money and if they were not purchased with my money, they were gifted to me by friends and family members with their money. Um, I'm not contracted with anybody. This video is not sponsored. I feel like I just need to clear the air on that because I know a lot of people will come and attack on videos like, oh, well, that product sucks and you're talking so good about it and you know, you're a liar. It's just a little bit ridiculous, you guys, and I just feel like it's the holiday, so by all means, just try to be kind and try to be cheerful. If I can get through the holidays, all of you guys can. So anyways, with that being said, if you want to see my November favorites, then please continue watching. So the first palette I'm going to start with is the Tarte Tartist uh, Pro Palette. This palette, I am so excited that I picked it up. I'm glad that I picked it up. I love this palette. I don't own a Tarte palette. This is the first one I got, but I just feel like it was worth every dollar spent on it. You get your like metallic shades over here on the side. Oh, and this palette smells like chocolate. So that's another thing that just every time I open it up, I'm like, yes. And then you get all of your matte shades here. Now I have seen people say that this palette completely sucks. I haven't had an issue with this palette. I've used it quite a bit. I'm going to continue to use it, probably do some holiday looks with it. I think that this palette is stunning. I think the shadows blend out nicely. I even think that the mattes are really nice, and this shade right here is called uh, Edgy. That's really pigmented for a matte shadow. Um, I will swatch another matte shadow for you guys. Why don't we just go with Bold, that one's right next to it, and we'll do Drama here. So you guys are seeing firsthand that I do not have primer on my fingers or anything like that. I think that these mattes are just beautiful. And then I'm just going to swatch them here across my hand. I mean, honestly, to me, these don't look like any other mattes that I don't already own, like the Morphe. And I mean, yeah, that was a, this middle one was a pretty crappy swatch. There we go. Let me just fix that for you guys. But I think that these are pigmented. I mean, that one is like a little tiny bit patchy, and they are a little bit powdery, but like, it's an eyeshadow, you guys, and it's nothing that you can't work with without putting a primer on your eyelids. I always put a primer down, so if you notice that you're having trouble with some of your eyeshadows, make sure you put a primer down and then set it with just a skin-toned eyeshadow or a cream eyeshadow to set that um, primer, to lock that primer in, and I don't think that you're going to have any issues putting on your eyeshadow. The next palette, of course, is the Kat Von D Matte Metals palette. You guys have seen this palette pop up a, quite a few times. I've used it in so, um, a couple. I've used it in a couple of different tutorials um, so far, and I've also just put up a haul video that was late talking about this palette. It's gorgeous. I now have a better understanding as to why people couldn't stand the Serpentina palette because this one blows that one right out of the water. I love this one. You're um, definitely getting what is on the palette? you're definitely getting more shades in this palette to work with. Now this is a sixty dollar palette, and do I honestly think it's worth sixty dollars? Absolutely. The mattes are all pigmented and buttery. Like I said, you're getting, uh, look at all these mattes in here. And then you're getting all of these beautiful metallic shades. The only one that seems to have a lot of fallout is Tencel, but that one looks super, super foiled. And I noticed that silver, um, more silver-like shadows tend to have a lot of fallout. So I love this palette. I think it's worth it. It's 
not been giving me any trouble, so I definitely recommend this Kat Von D palette. Next, I don't know if this was already in last month's monthly favorites, and if it was, you guys, I apologize. I am so just all over the place that I can't really remember, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I've been loving this one. You guys know how much I've been loving this one. I think that anybody that has this palette loves it. The, the shades are just beautiful. They're good for everyday looks, fall looks, natural looks, bold looks, dramatic looks. This palette is going to get you any look I feel like you desire to have. Um, so I'm not going to talk very much about this because you guys already know how much I love it and I'm pretty sure I've already gone into detail about it. So if you haven't gotten your hands on this and there's a possibility that you still can, I would say snag it because it has keeps going out of stock. It took me forever to finally get this palette and when I did, I used the crap out of it. As you guys can see, I have definitely put a dent in Venetian Red. It is one of the go-to shades that I use in this palette as well as the um, two shimmer palette or the two, two shimmer palettes, the two shimmer colors right here. So yes to that palette. Next, we're going to move on to like the face. I finally picked up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm like a year or two late on this foundation, but I have mine in Rich Chestnut. The only place that I could find this foundation was inside of our Macy's is where we have an Estee Lauder like booth. And so that may have been a little bit of the issue as to why I didn't just pick it up because it just wasn't in my local Sephora or my Ulta when I walked in. I actually had to go to um, a mall that's not right up the street. Our mall sucks. So I had to drive to uh, another mall in another city to go to Macy's to pick this one up. I'm glad that I finally got it because I love it. It's very full coverage. If you're looking for a full coverage foundation but leaves you with a smooth canvas, this is the way to go. And then also I picked up the Devil Wear Powder in Rich Chestnut. This is a great full coverage powder and I just love to use it with that foundation or any other foundation. I actually have it on today and I just think it makes my skin look so fresh and just smooth without looking cakey. So um, even if you don't get the foundation, I would definitely try out the powder. And I think it's going to be good for people who have oily skin because it is a matte powder. Although I have dry skin, you guys know the deal. I just take care of my skin, hydrate it so that I can have my matte foundation and matte primer. Although today I'm looking very dewy because I used a dewy foundation. Next, I decided to try out this Kat Von D Hydrating Primer Base. And I'm living for this. It is so hydrating. It feels really good on my skin. And it also helps so that I don't get dry through my makeup throughout the day. Um, so I definitely recommend picking this up. And if you have dry skin and you're looking for the hydrating one, make sure you read the packaging because Kat Von D has another primer. And I think it's just a regular primer base. So if you have oily skin, read the packaging because you don't want the hydrating one. But this one's definitely good is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer and I got mine in the shade D31 Warm. I've talked about this in many videos. It's just full coverage. I feel like it just is go applies really smooth. It blends in very well without leaving me cakey or getting those like wrinkles or anything like that. So I really have been loving this. Obviously to go along with it is the Lock It Translucent Powder. I do really like this powder. I do have one thing to say about it though. If you are not careful with this powder and you apply too much, it's going to make you look washed out and you don't want that. So I would apply this in very light amounts. A little bit goes a long way and I like to just press it in rather than baking with it. I like to just press it in to set the concealer. Some glitter liners here. These are the NYX Liquid Crystal Liners. I wish I could talk, but anyways, I have a gold, a dark, um, like periwinkle blue and then I have like a teal shade which I used today. I love these liners. They're perfect for these like holiday looks or if you just want to do like a glitter wing liner or line your wing liner. These are perfect for that. I love NYX. It's super affordable and I did find these at Ulta. Next, nobody shoot me down out there, is a Lime Crime liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Xenon. This is a bomb gold. It is like your true gold. It's a good holiday gold. You can wear it on the lips or you can do like I do and wear it on the eyelid. I do have a mini tutorial on my Instagram of me using this on my eyelid and it blended out so nicely. It's smooth. Like I said, it is perfect for the holidays for the lips. So if you choose to, then try it out. And if not, spend your money elsewhere. 
And then I have three other liquid lipsticks here. This one is Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Vampira. I love this. It's a deep burgundy, but kind of purplish liquid lipstick. Definitely, if you're into the dark vampy lip, or if you just want a dark lip for the holiday time that's kind of red, but not a true red, because some people just don't like that color or it doesn't look good on them, then I definitely recommend trying, trying this one out. Um, this is just the mini size. I want to get a couple more full size of her liquid lipsticks. We will see how that goes, though, but I love this one. Next, of course, I forget sometimes about my ColourPop and they just kind of get pushed to the side. I don't use them very much, but just recently I've started wearing K again. And this is from the K-Pop collection. This is so pretty. This is like a terracotta kind of brown red shade. It is beautiful and it does, again, work good with your um, holiday looks. It's very, very close to Unicorn Blood. It reminds me of Unicorn Blood. I'm not saying it's the same exact shade. It's close to Unicorn Blood. So if you don't have that one or for whatever reason you can't get your hands on it, then this is going to be a great alternative for that. Lastly, in the liquid lipstick family, this is Pinky Rose Liquid Lipstick in Chocolate Rose. It's so pretty. It's like a nude for me, but I know it looks dark. You guys are like a nude for you. But for me, this would be considered a nude lip. It is so pretty. It is like a pinky brown shade. I don't really know how to describe it. It's a good name that they call it Chocolate Rose. It's very fitting for the color, but I've been loving this one. It's perfect to throw on with just a wing liner or just some simple makeup for work or something like that because you're not going to work with too bold of a lip. Um, it's just perfect for everyday wear, and I tend to forget about my Pinky Rose products too, so I love this one. And then next, I've been using this Too Faced Glitter Glue. Where have I been? This is like the best glitter glue ever. This blows my NYX glitter glue out of the water. And I hate to say that because you guys know I love my NYX glitter glue. And if you can't afford to spend $20 on a glitter glue, which seems crazy for most, then NYX is going to be the way to go. But I've been loving this and I'm so glad I got it in a sample size. I would definitely be picking up a full size of this. My glitter does not move. It does not go anywhere. If I need to apply this and apply shadow to like really bolden it up, this works for that as well. And then my very last product that I have here, we are coming to an end, you guys. And I don't have any nopes this month, so that's a good thing. Um, lastly, I have these Tarte Tartus Pro Lashes in the style Goddess. They're kind of just floating around in here, but I'm going to bring them close so you guys can see them. They're so pretty. They're very wispy and, like, dramatic, but they're so lightweight, you can't tell you're wearing them. They have been my all-time favorite lashes. They're $12 a pair, but you're, if you take care of your lashes, you're going to get your money's worth out of them. You're going to be able to reuse them. And you guys know I am like the queen of reusing lashes until they literally are starting to fall apart or are missing the center or are just so crusty that I can't get like the glue off of them to reuse them. I'm all about reusing some lashes. So I probably will have these for quite a while, but I would like to pick up more pairs of these because they're gorgeous, they're amazing, and I recommend if you haven't tried out Tarte Lashes and you're looking for a nice, bold, dramatic, beautiful lash, kind of like, you know, House of Lashes, how everyone's always rocking those ones, or like the Violet Boss, you can just walk in the store and pick these ones up. I got these at Ulta, so definitely look into those. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. And if you enjoyed it, please, as usual, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any more videos or giveaways, which I'm working on one, you guys. I've been talking about it for so long, and I know you guys are like, where's that giveaway at, Sheena? I usually do a holiday video. It may be after the holidays, like a after like the first of the year, but I promise you guys, I am working on it. So um, be on the lookout for that. Don't forget to follow me on all social media, which is linked down below, especially Snapchat, you guys. Follow me there. I do sneak peeks of things, swatches, so, you know, what are you doing? Go follow me. Anyways, you guys, don't forget to put a smile on your face. It is truly the best makeup you can wear. I love you guys so much. Happy holidays, and I'll see you next video. Bye!